All right, so we've got this uh, pretty cool drag and drop navigation set up. However, we still have our old, uh, you know, little form here that really looks kind of stupid and it's not labeled very well. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to move the form over here to the left with the navigation items, but we're going to use what's called collapsible in order to automatically hide the form. And then we can just click a button or a link or whatever we want uh, that we'll put over here on the side of each navigation item to kind of drop, it'll kind of expand and show the uh, form. So you can make edits and then you can hide the form. And even while the form is out, you can still reorganize the uh, navigation by moving them around. So it's gonna be pretty cool. So let's take a look at how that looks. So if we go over to getbootstrap.com and go to the JavaScript section, Take a look on your left, down here to Collapse, and you'll see here. So this is basically what we're going for, except we're going to put the uh, little link over here on the right side. And so we'll click, and then the form will show up, and we'll be able to save, you know, click a button to save. And that'll all be done with Ajax as well, at least the, the saving part. Now if we look down here at their example code, this is a uh, pretty heavy duty stuff. We don't need all this. This is what they're doing to make this whole group panel group collapsible thing. And uh, we're going to scroll down and we're going to look at this kind of simple solution here where we create a button that toggles a div. So let's go ahead and set that up. Top into Aptana and uh, if you're following along from the last video, then you probably still have navigation.php open. If not, go ahead and open that up in the uh, admin folder, you know, views. There it is. So as we notice, we we have two components here that we need to add. We have the button and the div. This is what's going to hold our form. So let's start by just putting in a button here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it inside the list item tag. So after where you echo out the label, hit enter. And then let's add a button tag. Now let's hop back over to Bootstrap. And we're going to need to give it a type of button. And the class is going to determine what the button looks like. We don't necessarily need uh, button danger. We're just going to go with button default. So we do type equals button then class is btn then btn default let's flip back over here now these are two properties that are specific to the collapse plugin and uh, I didn't mention already these uh, everything under this JavaScript section here are pretty much plugins that are built into bootstrap as long as you have the JavaScript file added, which we did in the beginning of the series. So let's remember this. We have data toggle equals collapse. And then we have data target, and this is going to be the name of the div or the ID of the div that we're going to expand. And by expand, I mean it's basically just going to hide it or show it. It just happens to do it with a little animation so it kind of you know unfolds a little bit. So we'll go ahead and add that data target property here. However, ours has to be a little bit different than theirs. Ours has to be built dynamically because we're going to need to give it, uh, each one of those divs, a unique ID. Whereas in, in this example, they just use the idea of demo. If we were to run that with that ID, then we're going to have several items with the ID demo. And thus it won't work. So we'll call this, we'll, we'll kind of follow the same idea uh, that we're doing on line 16. Only instead of list, we'll do form underscore. And then let's just copy this whole little PHP thing here and echo out the ID. 
So now we'll have a dynamically generated unique ID to uh, target, that is. Which means down here, we can create this div. And we'll give it an ID equals. And we pretty much just copy this whole thing here, this form underscore and then the uh, PHP. That way it mimics whatever is spit out here for the target. And then the last thing we need to do is give it a class. Now in this example, this would be showing when the page is loaded. We want it to be hidden. So we actually use just collapse, not the end. If you see down here, this shows uh, kind of the, the way you can start the state. So collapse hides it, collapse in shows it, and collapsing would mean I would assume that when the page loads, you actually see it collapse. So come in here and do class equals. Collapse. And it's as simple as that. Let's go in here and just put in some text in this. We'll say the form goes here. We'll save that, hop over to our page. Refresh. Now, we didn't give our button really anything other than it being a button, so it's kind of generic looking. And uh, actually, really quick, I just realized I did something wrong. So, actually, two things wrong. We need to take this div, let's cut that, and let's paste it underneath the button. That needs to go inside the list item. Uh, this still would have worked, but it would have been funny. It wouldn't be able, they just wouldn't have worked well. Um, and then the other thing I forgot is for data target, we need the hashtag here to specify that it's an ID. So now let's save that. Hop over here, and again we have a you know kind of ugly button there. And uh, I'm gonna click the button. There you go.